hi everyone sewe here welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are stopping by my channel for the first time you are very welcome and if you are a returning subscriber i celebrate you thank you for always returning back to watch my video so in today's video we're going to do sunset eyeshadow okay it's a full face makeup tutorial but what we'll focus on is sunset eyeshadow how to cut your crease and how to mix light colors blend together okay so stay tuned so first thing first i go in with setting fix to set her face and next i use sector fit moisturizer and then i'm using zk primer okay to prep her face so those are the product i use for her skin prep next i'm going in with even true foundation decay even true foundation in the shade 25 mocha okay and use a damp beauty blender make sure your beauty blender is damp use circular motion in blending your foundation damp don't drag it okay take your time while blending your foundation always take your time mostly when you are blending your foundation so it will evenly blend into your mother's skin the concealer we are using today is dk skin fit concealer in the shade 003 no zero i will list all the product i use down my description box okay and then i use the same beauty blender i used in blending her foundation okay i like working with beauty blender more than brushes when it comes to concealer and foundation application because beauty blender absorb more foundation it help you reduce the excess product on the face and then I go in with a uh, Zaro lips, uh, sorry. Then I go in with Zaro uh, matte lipstick to blush her cheek. And I still use the same beauty blender to blend in the, the blush. Next, I go in with DK powder palette to set her concealer. To contour her nose, I go in with the same powder palette and the brushes I'm using, the brush I'm using is the K Cosmetic brush. Other of my brushes, I mix those brushes, some are Nibam Beauty and some are ZK Cosmetics. Okay, but all the product I use, I'm going to list them down my description box, okay? And for brows, I go in with hair wax to keep the hair in place before I start drawing, okay? And this application allow the gel to dry before you draw the brows. Sorry, I didn't film this part of the brows, but like always, I have so many videos on how to draw your brows. But if in case you still want me to make a video on how I draw my brows, please, please uh, drop the message down my comment section. Moving on to the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow we are using today is Lia ZK eyeshadow. And I will list all the products down in my description box. Before applying eyeshadow, make sure you set your eyelid first. Your eyelid needs to be set so that your eyeshadow will not have cracks and break, okay? So it will be very easy and a good finish. you have a finished look, okay? So I use so many colors. First, I go in with a dark brown shade at the crease line. As you can see, I'm passing all the colors around the crease line 
and this application you need so many brushes okay you can you don't mix the colors one bro one shade of and um, eyeshadow has its own brush and another one just be swapping it don't join the colors together so you have the kind you told you achieve the look you are looking for okay and then i go in with an orange color to apply it on top the the dark brown okay on top the dark brown you can see the way i'm using circular motion to apply it okay and then i switch the brush again to blend the edges i go in with a yellow shade to blend the edges okay you can see how beautiful the eyeshadow is looking so next is to cut her crease you need to tell your mother to open her eyes so you will locate where her crease line begin although i go above her crease line so i will have i will achieve the kind of look i am going for it's already coming out very beautiful And then I go in with a blending brush to blend it. The lip palette, the concealer palette I use is Girl Cosmetics. Oh, this is where I need to apologize. I didn't know that I didn't film this part at all. But I'm going to explain all the colors I use here. At the inner corner, I use Nude. At the center of the crease, I use orange and then I use um, more like pink at the outer corner. And then I go in with liquid glitter at the crease line. So I'm very sorry I did not film this part really as my phone was down when I was filming it. And I'm sorry, there is no excuse for it forgive me but if you would like to see the way i did in particular please list down drop down a comment okay and i will attend to it for liquid for liquid liner i go in with zaron liquid liner and we are doing a wing liner okay yeah this is beautiful then it's time to remove the bake i go in with the gel powder palette to set her, the whole of her face okay so let me know what you think about this look at the comment section there's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you, not doing well, don't know where you are, cause you're not here, it's been way too long, if I can lay down beside you, I'll if you're stopping by my channel for the first time, please my sister, my brother, subscribe okay also hit that notification bell so anytime i upload a new video you'll be able to get the notification this will be it for me today until next time keep polishing the diamond in you bye bye